Good evening and thank you for joining us on Y254 News Updates. My name is Patricia Moriyoki and today with me in studio I have a full house of beautiful babies and their mothers and their coach to, because today we are talking about nurturing talent. For the longest time we've lived in a society whereby all our parents pushed us to do is pursue education, getting the good grades. But today we have mothers in this, uh, in the studio who are pushing their, uh, their children as much as they want them to pursue education, they are also pushing them and motivating them every day to make sure that they are nurturing their talents. And I would like to introduce my panel for the night. We have, I'll start with the, with the children, and these are models. Uh, we have Samantha Jesus. Totos, if I say your name, so we have some other Jesus, we have Stephanie Vigay, we have Hope Wamboi, we have Eva Maria, and we have Chantal Mimi. Yes, and then we have Pascaline Ch uh, Jebet, who is the founder of Little Miss Universe Kenya. We have Patricia Wanja, who is the mother to Samantha Jesus. We have Regina Waidera, who is the mother to Hope Wamboi. And we have Esther Jue, who is the mother to Chantal Mimi. You can be part of this conversation by sharing your views and comments on our social media platforms. That is on Y254 channel. Hashtag Y254 News. You can also reach me at Patricia Morioki. So welcome and thank you guys for finding the time to be here. Uh, I'm very honored to have such talent because I've already interacted with these young uh, ladies and trust you me, you're yet to be shocked tonight. So let me start off with Pascaline uh, Jebet. Yes. You're the founder of Little Miss Universe Kenya. And my first question would be why did you choose to, do, to, to start such an initiative? Because first and foremost, mm -hmm. I'm a very talented person. Okay. I'm multi-talented myself. Mm -hmm. Other than just being their coach, mm -hmm. I am an artist. Mm -hmm. I am a fashion model. I'm a designer. Mm -hmm. I write magazines. Okay. I play guitar. All those things, mm -hmm. which I never had when I was young. Mm -hmm. So when I grew up, and then I, I saw, uh, like th there are kids out there who are so talented. Mm -hmm. So why can't I give them what I never had? Okay. Yes, that uh, was the solid reason why I started. Uh, why did you choose? Uh, do you have maybe older girls or boys? Yes, we have from age 4 years to 17 years. Mm -hmm. And the reason why up to 17 years is because at least we can still get guidance from their parents. Mm -hmm. Like the parents can still say, this is good for my kid. Mm -hmm. I want to support them full time because... Mm -hmm. Older than 18 years, they want to be independent, they want to do their own stuff. Okay. But for kids, their parents can easily mm -hmm. tell them, like, this is good for you, mm -hmm. this is not good for you. Okay. And it's easy to interact with their parents mm -hmm. very easily. Okay. Uh, with your help, I would really like to talk to the children. The babies. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Samantha. Samantha yes. Jesus. Here. How are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, which school do you go to? Morningstar Learning Center. Oh, how, what class are you in? PP2. Okay. Uh, why do you love modeling? Um, because... Why do you love... <laughs> okay. Uh, Ho Hope, how are you? Fine. Let's talk to Hope. How are you? Fine. Uh, what's your talent? My talent is poet. Wow. So before the show ends, you're going to do a poem for us. Yes. Is that okay? Yes. What school do you go to? I go to Peace Junior School. Okay. Okay. Stephanie, how are you? Fine, thank you. Uh -huh. What school do you go to? Jessica yes, St. John's. What's your talent? Modeling. When did you start modeling? In class? <laughs> three. In class three. Wow. Okay. Do you like modeling so far? Yes. Do you think you're going to be a mo uh, you're going to be an international model when you grow up? Yes. Okay, that's nice. Hi, Eva. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. What <laughs> What school do you go to? I go to international school. Uh -huh. When did you start modeling? You can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give the mic to Chantal. Hi, Chantal. Hey. How are you? Fine. What class are you in? Four. Uh, what school do you go to? St. Paul's. Uh, when did you start modeling? 2017. Why did you choose to do modeling? Probably not singing or dancing. Why do you love modeling? Because mm -hmm. 
I love modeling because that is my talent. Okay, because that is your talent. Yes. Okay, so you've heard from the children. I'd like to bring the mothers in because I know for these children to have gotten to where they are right now at a very young age, it's because they have a support system and the biggest support system in our lives is our parents. So I'd like to start you with you, Mama Hope. Yes. At what age did you notice that Hope can really stand in front of people and recite poems? At the age of five years. Mm -hmm. yes. And how was that for you? Did you feel like, ah, oh, so my kwanza alafu is the poem to tasema badai, or how did you deal now with that? Okay, after realizing that mm -hmm. she wanted to do poetry, mm -hmm. so it was not that easy being that she's born and brought up in Kibra, mm -hmm. where Islam life is not that easy, mm -hmm. but being that I realized she can do poetry, mm -hmm. so we decided, why well, don't she? do poetry to give hope to the slum kid. Okay. If it's that, mm -hmm. it's like there is no hope for a slum kid. Okay. So hope is there for the slum kid mm -hmm. to give back hope. Wow. Yeah. And you see, it's actually She's called Hope. She's yeah. giving hope to she other children in the slum, so which is a very good thing. So Patricia, uh, Samantha is in PP, PP, PP2. At a Jafika grade one, <laughs> at what age did you realize that this child is talented and I need to do something about it. Um, I would say I realized uh, when she was very young mm -hmm. uh, because uh, everyone who would visit home would just say, wow, I love this kid. She mm -hmm. just looks like she has a bright future. Mm -hmm. And when we, we would see those kids maybe reciting poems in a, in a government mm -hmm. uh, function, okay. and somebody would say, wow, Samantha can do this. Mm -hmm. And at that age, she was really young. She mm -hmm. was even under one year old. Mm -hmm. So I took it as a prophetic message. Okay. I, I'm very spiritual, sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I just took you it. You don't have to be sorry <laughs> for being spiritual. <laughs> I, I just took it so uh, spiritually mm -hmm. um, empowering. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and sure enough, she just proved it's true. Okay. With time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mama Chantal, I can see the little one refused to stay back there and decided to join us. Yeah. At what age did you realize that Chantal can, uh, uh, as a talent, and I need, it's, it's my obligation as a mother to make sure that I guide her? To pursue it until when she feels like she's gotten what she wanted. Uh, that was back in the year 2015. Mm -hmm. She was five years old. Okay. We had just moved to Nairobi from Embu County mm -hmm. and uh, I realized she was interested in modeling. Mm -hmm. The problem is uh, she didn't know English mm -hmm. so I was like uh, I'll take the whole of 2015 for her to learn some English. Okay. Because I believed when she goes for these pageants uh, the language there is English. Yeah because so you have 2016 to that's when people. I took mm -hmm. her for the first training. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's done it since uh, 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, she she participated in Little Miss Miss and Mr. Teen Kenya. Mm -hmm. She was um, Mini Miss Kenya. Wow! Uh, second Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Then 2017, we took a break. Mm -hmm. 2018, uh, we went for Little Miss Kenya. Mm -hmm. She became Miss uh, Little Miss Personality. Mm -hmm. And last year, 2019. Mm -hmm. I took her to Italy mm -hmm. for World Fashion Kids Festival. Wow. Where she won, and here we are. Okay. Uh, for Little Miss Universe Kenya. So I, I really, our aim for this is to make sure tonight that we challenge mothers and fathers out there to make sure that they are pushing as much as they motivate their children to make sure that they pursue education. We also make sure that we don't forget that our children are also talented. So, Pascalina, I'd like you to bring you in on this. Okay. What do you look out for? How do you identify talent? Because this is a young child who, let's say, cannot express themselves very well and say that this is what I would like to do. So how, what process do you take to make sure that you identify the talent in a child and probably not just identify something because you've seen it for, for a minute and it's not going to last? So majorly, what usually happens is uh, when I meet uh, people, mm -hmm. I don't just tell them that modeling is a talent mm -hmm. as per se mm -hmm. modeling is one of the things that mm -hmm. opens up other talents okay so w once they come into one room mm -hmm. as models mm -hmm. the next thing that we usually do is identify mm -hmm. what else can she do mm -hmm. can she sing <laughs> we say if you're a good singer kuja mm pambele -hmm. like all that if you're a good dancer mm -hmm. we have like dancing classes mm -hmm. and then someone comes up and say me i, li I like dancing more than mm -hmm. than singing okay or maybe someone like Hope will say, mm -hmm. me, I do poetry. Mm -hmm. You see? But modeling is the umbrella okay. for all the other talents that but comes up with it. But they're able to grow in yeah. different uh, yes. aspects and fields. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's nice. Uh, Patricia, 
Can you tell me, how have you been able to build confidence in Samantha Jesus? Uh, what are some of the ways that you've been able to do to make sure that sh she really maintains or even becomes better than she started? Mm -hmm. uh, she started talking when she was very little mm -hmm. and I realized her, her biggest ability, her biggest talent is in talking. Mm -hmm. Anything that involves talking, she can talk. Mm -hmm. If it's comedy, stand-up comedy, she will talk. Mm -hmm. If it's poetry, that is talking. Mm -hmm. If it's singing, that is talking. Mm -hmm. Like she can ex express herself mm -hmm. verbally. Okay. Yeah, so what I do with her, mm -hmm. I just encourage her to say the right thing at mm -hmm. the right time mm -hmm. as long as it is the truth. Okay. Yeah, so anything that is the truth, mm -hmm. I encourage her to say it mm -hmm. yeah in many situations yeah I know it doesn't it doesn't end well with many people mm -hmm. but as she grows I train her you don't say this mm -hmm. at this time you don't say this mm -hmm. so and so okay yeah so I just tell her to say this in mm -hmm. this kind of way okay yeah so that's how I have mm -hmm. nurtured her confidence in expressing herself okay mm -hmm. uh, mama hope I'd like you to bring you in, in uh, on this one um, what can you see is the advantage of grooming your child to pursue their talent at a young age when you meanza na hope? What would you see is the advantage than waiting for hope to be 18 years when you're enrolling her in campus is when you're also pushing her or you're also motivating her to be trying to pursue her talents? Okay, me like to never say ma, you know, talent to you and dogo, as much as you're gonna challenge being that name toto, I can not total as a group of yeah. your toto. Mm -hmm. So, so Okay, in a tegemean vile tu unajipanga, mm -hmm. unaidentify ni nini mm -hmm. fanya. Mm -hmm. Na uhakikishe ni passion yake, si mm -hmm. ni kumlazimisha sababu kama ni kumlazimisha, mm -hmm. atafanya vile unataka ama mm -hmm. pia atafanya vile anataka. Okay. So wakati mimi nilikuja ni realize hope anapenda poem, mm -hmm. lazima kwanza ningeangalia hizo poem anafanya, zina send message. Hizo mm -hmm. poem anafanya okay ziko na maana. Mm -hmm. Unajua zinaweza zinamsaidia yeye okay. kando na perform to sabu lazima send message na lazima i entertain at mm -hmm. the same time mm -hmm. sasa inakuwa ni tricky but kama mzazi nilijua kujipanga okay. ni unajua one akiwa mdogo in future yake anaanza kujitengenezea mm -hmm. akiwa mgani mdogo mm -hmm. and like akiwa mkubwa vitu mingi vime mzunguka mm -hmm. and like sasa hii mm -hmm. atoke shule a refresh afanye homework mm -hmm. tuingie kwa poetry okay kazi inakuwa ni rahisi okay yeah. uh, but my hope has mentioned something that uh, that I would like every parent to touch on that is how do you make sure that your child gets to balance school and their talent but before we get to that I'd like to bring you Pascal in on this what is little miss universe Kenya all about so Little Miss Universe Kenya, uh, it's a beauty pageant for kids mm -hmm. aged 4 years to 17 years. Mm -hmm. And I myself being a finalist for Miss Universe, that's mm -hmm. for 18 years and above, mm -hmm. I wanted to bring a smaller version of that. Mm -hmm. So it's like the smaller version of Miss Universe Kenya, mm -hmm. but now this is for kids. Mm -hmm. So what they compete for is a title for Little Miss Universe Kenya 2020. Mm -hmm. And the winner is going to run for one year. Mm -hmm. We do projects with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, the rest of the contestants, we are planning something for them, like the talents now. Mm -hmm. Now okay. we go into the talents that they have. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it's uh, the National Ves Festival, which is in Georgia. Mm -hmm. It's an open invitation for all kids, mm -hmm. as long as you've participated in the Little Miss Universe in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So those kids will be able to attend the festival. Mm -hmm. They'll also get a chance to do a fashion show there okay. and compete for the international title. Okay. Yes. Um, you see, as much as these are children, but I believe there's a point whereby, as much as they're doing these, they're kids, we are, we are like nurturing them, there's a point whereby seriousness is involved. Yes. If you probably, you have coaching, you cannot miss coaching. Yes. If you have to be maybe at the agency at a certain time, you cannot miss that. As we teach them to be serious and all these, how do you uh, create a balance to make sure that this is a child, they still need their time to go out and play and be children, so that as we nurture their talents, they don't skip certain stages uh, as children. For as Little talent. Miss Universe Kenya and the modeling agency, we usually uh -huh. do it on weekends, uh -huh. especially Saturdays or Sunday afternoon, uh -huh. once they're done with the schoolwork. Uh -huh. And then on Saturday, we could do training, ama wafanye some activity. Uh -huh. And then we don't usually do like training all the time. Okay. We usually have like game time. Uh -huh. After Tukiona, we train for like one hour, we go for maybe some ride mm -hmm. or 
a gaming mm-hmm. like last year we went to two rivers mm-hmm. and they spent like the whole afternoon after an interview mm-hmm. which was quite good but other than all that we usually have some questions mm-hmm. like have you performed well in class mm-hmm. you have some strategy if you haven't passed a certain level okay what next are you going to do for us because mm-hmm. you can't compete and then you're failing in class yeah mm-hmm. yeah okay so esther mama chantal how do you make sure that chantal is able to balance school do a homework on time still manage to get good grades in school and also do the be the best in the model uh, career um from monday to friday that is school days mm-hmm. so she has to concentrate fully mm-hmm. in school and do her homework in the evening mm-hmm. and play mm-hmm. like any other child okay. because i think children need to play yes that is in the uh, evening after doing her homework mm-hmm. then on weekends as uh, she better said uh, saturday sunday she's always busy with us mm-hmm. the trainings uh, uh, photo shoots and mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. so we can't time for modeling mm-hmm. but the rest of the days of the week mm-hmm. the school work and playing and being a child mm-hmm. yeah okay uh, patricia how would you say kenya as a country or how would you uh, how would you rate our society in terms of nurturing uh, talents from a very tender age how would you say you, we, we are doing as a country? Uh, as a country, uh, I think now we have some hope mm-hmm. in, in developing the children's talents, mm-hmm. but before then it was just poor mm-hmm. performance uh-huh. in terms of nurturing the kids. Mm-hmm. Because while I was growing up myself, I, was, I am very talented myself, mm-hmm. but the way I had to maintain my straight A's and mm-hmm. be the best in my class and okay. so on. Mm-hmm. So I thought uh, art was a waste of time. Mm-hmm. But after finishing high school, things did not go the way I expected. Mm-hmm. So now it's, it's the time I am starting to venture into art, mm-hmm. something I would have done like 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think Kenya is a country we really need to change our perspective fully. Mm-hmm. Okay. We are not there yet, but we are getting there. Okay. Uh, Pascaline, I understand there is a competition. Uh, there's, a, <laughs> there's a function coming up. Yes. Would you tell us about that? Yeah. Uh, the Little Miss Universe Kenya, mm-hmm. which will be the first time, mm-hmm. it will happen at Demi Place, which mm-hmm. at, it's at Gong Road, mm-hmm. immediately after Adams. Mm-hmm. It will start from... For the models, they'll be there by 10. Mm-hmm. We'll have a red carpet moment mm-hmm. and then... The show starts exactly at 2 p.m. Mm-hmm. And those who want to buy tickets, mm-hmm. there is online ticketing mm-hmm. at www.mook.com. Okay. Or they can call me and mm-hmm. get the tickets from me. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, for the parents, please dress well if you are coming. Say, <laughs> Michelle, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, don't let the child at- outdo you. Yes. Okay. That's so. The point. Watoto, I don't know. I want to give you an opportunity to talk to your fans and tell them to vote for you. Are you ready to do that? Monyatakata kuongea atashinda. Samantha, are you ready to tell people to vote for you? Yes. Take the microphone. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Mm-hmm. Vote me in Instagram. Um, you can search for me, Samantha Jason, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Okay. Nice. Samantha is already on her social media platforms. <laughs> Hope it's your opportunity to tell people. Kila mtu mwenye ako home saa hii ana watch. Umwambia kuvutia ndio huko Little Miss Universe Kenya. Talk to them. Hi fans. Please vote for me mm-hmm. on Instagram. Mm-hmm. You can vote for me. Hope Hope Homeboy. Mm-hmm. And you can find me. Please vote for me. Thank you. Please vote for Hope. <laughs> Stephanie, it's your opportunity to tell people to vote for you. How you present yourself is what determines <laughs> if you're going to win. The stage is all yours. Hi, fans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> tell them to vote for you. Una tafta apa, sasa una tafta votes. My name is Stephanie Bigay. Mm-hmm. Tell them, please vote for me. <laughs> please vote for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Haya. Eva, it's your chance to tell people to vote for you. Hi, son. Okay. My name is Eva. Uh-huh. Please vote for me. Please vote for me. Okay. Chantal, it's your opportunity to ask people to vote for you. Hey everyone, mm-hmm. my name is Chantal. Please vote for me in Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 
Okay. So if you're watching us tonight, please uh, add on to Facebook at Little Miss Universe uh, Facebook page and vote for these beauties that you can see here. Let us also be part of making sure that our children uh, are participating and nurturing their talents. So Pascal, what are some of the challenges that you get to face while running this program? One of the biggest questions I was asked was, why are the only four kids on the poster? Uh -huh. That was the first question. Uh -huh. And uh, it didn't really ring in my head because those are the first four kids who registered. So I was like, because they registered the first uh -huh. and we need to have a poster out uh -huh. there, so you let's run them. with this. Okay. And uh, such questions really, uh, like it, it comes to me, but at the same time, I don't... Like the parents see, like I'm um, choosy or not, <laughs> but for me, I'm not. Like I just run the way it is, mm -hmm. and then for Little Miss Universe Kenya, we are really setting up a standard whereby we want it to be fair for everyone. Okay. Like if the kid is out there, th we have fresh judges. I have, uh, I may have interacted with them before, but during the panel, mm -hmm. I will not be there. Okay. Because I want to give them a chance to choose who is their best. Okay. So, and another challenge is usually timing, because mm -hmm. other than being their coach, I have to also run with the magazine, I have to mm -hmm. write it myself, mm -hmm. I have to be able to work mm -hmm. for my profession. Okay. I'm also an artist, mm -hmm. I have to draw, so balancing it at some times usually Can be challenging. takes up most of my time. Okay. Yes. Ob, what you say a poem? Of course, you have okay. to. Mm -hmm. So we'll have Hope do a poem for us, and then I'll take one comment from one of the parents as we wind up. <coughs> Hope to say my poem. Stand here. Camera person, mm -hmm. let's have a very good shot of Hope. My name is Hope Amboy Ochin, and I have a poem. I am a slam girl, so what? Being a slam girl does not make me less a girl. I am proud because I know my rights of equality. Because I am a slam girl, yes, I admit I have issues and challenges of slam life. Of slam life. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Continue now. <laughs> cancer, cancer, for how long shall we suffer by losing our beloved ones just because you're a silent killer? For how long shall our people lose their beauty just because they can't stand you? Yesterday was cervical, today is breast. Tomorrow, believe our lungs and so on. No, enough is enough because my future is bright. But I'm scared and fear this monster. Mommy, Daddy, my dear friend, my neighbors, doctors, Kenyans, is there hope? of ending this merciless beast? Yes, there is hope. Let's stand and fight together. One, create awareness. Two, go for early screening. Three, NHIF to cover full treatment of cancer. Four, take your young girls for HPV vaccine. Wow. And to the patients and survivors, you are not alone. We stand with you. We love you. And we salute you. And to the fallen heroes, Wangare Madhai, Bob Colimo, and Piken Okoth, Governor Joyce Laboso. Thank you. Wow. Wow. That's a very beautiful piece. Who wrote that for you? Nani alikwandi here, yo? Mom. Wow. <laughs> hey, mom, you're also talented. Please, <laughs> for you to really come up with such powerful words mm -hmm. and the fact that you're making sure that Hope is using a talent to reach out to people, yes. please keep up the good work. Thank you. And the rewards of all these talents and all the work that your mothers are doing are going to be seen very soon. So I'd like to take a final um, 
comments mama chantal a message to mothers watching us tonight a message to fathers watching us tonight what should they do once they notice that their children have a talent in, in at a very tender age for a mother who is scared of nikimpeleka maybe at a saushule ama are they really ready what is your message for them tonight oh uh, parents kenyan parents <coughs> Uh, education is not everything. You may have one degree, two degrees, three degrees. We've seen people washing cars and they are PhD holders. Mm -hmm. So if your child has a talent, please nurture that talent. Mm -hmm. If you look at the best paid people, mm -hmm. uh, guys with talents like yeah. the footballers. Mm -hmm. So let us, um, if you see that your child has a talent, mm -hmm. support her, mm -hmm. support him. Mm -hmm. Let's see what comes out of it. Okay. Maybe one day Chantel will be the Lupita Nyong or the yeah. Naomi Campbell of this world. Mm, yes. So let's wait and see. Okay. Yeah. Patricia, a message to mothers and fathers watching us tonight? Um, I would tell them uh, that um, mostly people complain that uh, wasani, hawalipangui, wasani, wamesota, wasani, wakona <laughs> PE, that mm -hmm. is empty promises uh -huh. I had in the streets, it's called PE. <laughs> okay. But uh, I, I also had that concern that I may take my child to uh, perform at events and she's not getting paid for that so mm -hmm. there's no immediate reward for her talent right now mm -hmm. but what I was uh, motivated what I came to know is that uh, time is money yes so if you don't have money to invest invest mm -hmm. in your time and eventually people will notice them people will find them people mm -hmm. will sponsor them eventually mm -hmm. so even if it doesn't pay off right now it will pay off eventually because you invested in your time which is also money okay yes. uh-huh mama hope mm -hmm. for a mother watching us tonight Opa says she's a kibera girl she's a she's a she's a slam girl but you can literally see that you can't tell unless she Unless I come from Kibera, you wouldn't tell. <laughs> so what would you say to mothers watching us tonight and, and fathers? And probably their challenge is, Ona malimi naishi. Ona, like, sina iyo doya, probably fea kumpele, kanga iso training and so that. What message do you have for such parents tonight? Well, me message niko nayo. Ni, your past or your background or where you come from, mm -hmm. it does not define your future. Okay. Um, ile kitiko ni, Uki notice mtu wako na talent, mm -hmm. nacha it. Mm -hmm. Usiangalia uko kwa slums. Mm -hmm. Sababu ningeka yu mentality, mm -hmm. singefika na hope mali tumefika na ye. Mm -hmm. One, last year tumekua Africa Cup of Nations. Wow. All the way kutuka kwa slums. Mm -hmm. Kisa na maana, she's talented, mm -hmm. she has an inspiring story. Mm -hmm. Of which, ningeka nao kwa nyumba, nikiangalia background yangu, mm -hmm. ama nikiangalia SG, tukuna event, unasema hauna fair ni sawa, hauna fair but mina mini, there is always hope. No. Salazima, there is always hope. Well, keep, let, do not let your hope to die. Mm -hmm. Keep that hope alive okay. and kicking. Na itakupeleka mbali. You never know mbali mm itakupeleka. -hmm. Okay. Anakutua from nothing to something, mm -hmm. from nobody to somebody, mm -hmm. and I change your story and your name. Okay. Yeah. So, Pascaline Jebet, as the founder of Little Miss Universe Kenya, what is your message for parents watching us tonight? The biggest word is investment. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a matter of choice. Mm -hmm. Usually, the, the, someone told me, do you want to invest in training that kid or mm -hmm. do you want to go and pay a judge to mm -hmm. give them that title? Mm -hmm. You know, those are two different things. Okay. Okay. That kid, unazalipa a judge, akupe title. Mm -hmm. But when that kid is taken to maybe talk in a press conference, mm -hmm. and like she shuts down completely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... The biggest word is investment. Invest in a teacher to train that kid. Mm -hmm. Invest in a teacher, akufunzi mtoi, kama ana dance, mm -hmm. find that teacher to train that kid to dance. Mm -hmm. And automatically that kid will win. Okay. Or that kid will prosper. Mm -hmm. Go look for a teacher who can train them how to mm -hmm. do maybe ballet, mm -hmm. music, or any other activity that they can. Okay. The biggest word is investment. Okay. And it will pay off at some point in life. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much for coming today to share your stories with us. For the children, I wish you all the best. I will try my best to come and attend the occasion. Mm -hmm. So let us continue with our practice, children and mothers. Thank you very much for really supporting. It really shows that these children have the best support system. So that is all we have for you tonight on Y254 News. If you've watched us, I'm sure you've learned. Mothers and fathers out there, make sure that when you notice your child as a talent, don't wait until they are 
18 years old. Start as early as one, as early as two, because at the end of the day, you're going to find the rewards of the effort and invest in your children's talent. That is all we have for you tonight. My name is Patricia Morioki. Do have yourselves a very good night.